question mark and Nicole Fowler. Before we dive into the news, what do you think of Daily Briefing? Love it! Want to see different kinds of stories? If you'd like to share, I'd love to hear your thoughts here. Let's get going with Monday's top stories. King Charles III addressed lawmakers in Britain's parliament for the first time as monarch, telling them I cannot but help feel the weight of history which surrounds us. Charles told members of the House of Commons and House of Lords that he would follow his late mother Queen Elizabeth II in a poll. The first members of the public will have the chance to pay their respects to the late Queen when the monarch's coffin lies at rest at St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh. Charles will accompany the old coffin on a solemn procession through the cobbled streets of the Scottish capital from the royal palace of Holyrood House to the cathedral. Read more royal news right in your inbox, subscribe to Keep Calm and Carry On, a newsletter answering all of your questions about the royal family following Queen Elizabeth's death. While officials say water pressure has returned to Jackson, there is still a boil water advisory in 150, 000 residents still lack drinking water. Read more will it ever get better? Officials have been sampling the water at one of the city's two water treatment plants, but aren't ready to sample the distribution system. Officials will need at least two straight days of clean samples before the boil water advisory is lifted. What's the weather up to in your neck of the woods? Check your local forecast here. Ukraine has kept the counteroffensive momentum in its war against Russia going. 